Hello and welcome to another one of these ADD videos. Today we're going to be looking at the rectangular coordinate system and some basic linear concepts and equations. So first, we're looking here at x, y axis. Many of you have seen this time and time again, though I couldn't squeeze in those numbers in the small space provided. Um, you should know that the x axis is the independent axis here. Uh, where did my mouse? independent axis and y is dependent on what x is okay that's what it means when y is a function of x so depending on what x is you can plug into your function to figure out what y is and then once you have an x and a y those are referred to as ordered pairs and the way you plot an ordered pair for instance point two comma three you go out two in the x direction then go up three in the y direction and then put a point and that would be the ordered pair two comma three if you were doing the ordered pair negative five comma negative four you would go first always in the x direction and then down in the y would you end up in the same place if you did it the other way yes actually you would so i just usually go in the x direction and then the y the first number is always the x Second number is always the y. Well, actually, the negative four is up here, not down there. Let's do that again. Sorry, it's 1 a.m. I'm a little tired. So this point would be negative five, comma. Still looks a little slow. Negative four. There you go. That's a little bit better. So now that we've discussed what points are, ordered pairs, let's move on. You plot where x y meet. We just did that. Let's look at vertical lines. So a vertical line has the same x value. No matter what y is, x is always the same numerical value. Let's look at this vertical line of x equals 5. You see how at this point, 5, 10, 5, 0, this is the x-intercept. That's where it touches the x-axis. 5, negative 2, or 5, negative 4. All those values for x are 5. And if we were to find the slope of that line, which we haven't really talked about the slope yet, but the slope is basically the um, slant of the line. You do the change in the y's over the change in the x's. And if whatever two points you chose to pick, you would get a number for the y answer. But since in this case, this number down here, this, these are both going to be fives. So five minus five would be zero, and the number over zero is going to define. Okay, so that would let you know it's a vertical line. So if the question is, what is the equation of the vertical line that goes through the point five comma ten? You would just write down x equals five, or five comma zero would be x equals five. Because the value of the x in your ordered pair is the equation of the line, x equals 5. And by the same token, if we had a horizontal line, it would be y equals that number, the y value. Because y is always that number, no matter what x becomes. Like in this case, y equals ne negative 4 is the line. So we have a one y value of that. The intercept is y-intercept is 0 negative 4, and then this point again. So you can see that, uh, oops, no, that was right. So we were looking at the different x values, and the y values stayed the same, I guess. Let's emphasize that point. So because the y values are staying the same, if we were to look at the slope form formula and the slant, both of these are going to be the same negative 4 value, which would give you 0 over a number, minus or over the difference of uh, the two x values, which would give you zero, okay? So if you were asked, what is the equation of the line that goes to the point negative five, negative four, and has no slope, zero slope? Well, you would just go to that negative four value right here, and you would say y equals negative four, okay? We'll re revisit that concept later on when we do some example questions. Here are some basic straight line equations. The slope formula we just witnessed it's the 
y's over the run, change in the x's over the change in the y's, and you need two points in order to do that. So try to keep them the same. Uh, don't mix and match the x values. Uh, then the next equation is the slope-intercept equation. Uh, this is usually what we're asked for our answers to be in. Um, so if you're given the slope and the y-intercept, that's when you use that. And then here is the point slope equation, and that's usually my starting point when I deal with these. And you plug in for x1, y1 only, the x and the y's, and then you plug in your slope, m, okay? So those are the basic equations of a line, and just remember, a quick little side note, parallel, line, parallel lines have the same slope, perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes. So you flip the sign, you flip the fraction and change the sign. So this is the foundation for a lot of the graphing stuff that you're going to get started on, and then we'll get into more complex functions later. So go back through this uh, video if you need to, and take notes, and make sure you check out the example videos. I hope I've cleared up any confusion that you might have. Thank you. Oh, don't forget to practice, practice, practice. Thank you, and have a nice day.